Hi, thanks for stopping by and welcome to Stir Up Your Purpose channel where you get ideas, principles and concepts that move you in the direction of your true purpose. Today, I want to share one of those articles I posted on my Facebook personal profile. I promised myself that I will make time to turn those articles to videos. For me, when I joined Facebook, I believe in early 2009, I rarely posted photos during those early days. That was not my thing, but around 2016, when I had the inner leadings to share spiritual principles, concept and experience, I saw social media as a vehicle for this. And I believe it was also around this period that I became Life Mastery Institute Dream Builder Coach. One day I will share how and why I signed up to become a coach. From then on, I began penning and posting articles and also share ideas and principles from authors that inspire me. Come along with me as I share one of those articles titled on complicated words of truth. Give me those simple and uncomplicated words of truth. And that's all I need. A couple of those words goes like this. Your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now, Robert Russell asked this beautiful question. Do you understand what it means to put righteousness first? It means to surrender your human mind and its thinking to the mind of Christ. Jesus has made it clear that he wants you to have healing, wholeness, and financial security, and that these things must come to you by his way of appointing. Of myself, with a human mind, I can do nothing. The Father, the Christ mind, that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Jesus does not say, take right thought for the morrow. He said, take no thoughts. In other words, stop trying to solve problems and heal conditions for yourself. The personal self must be denied. It must be eliminated so that the mind which was also in Christ Jesus can go to work. Emerson also said in forceful terms, get your bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circuit. The human mind, thinking always in terms of good and evil, and not according to principle, cannot know the truth. Knowing both good and evil, it is unreliable and unstable, but the spiritual mind sees and knows and calls into being only the good. Now, the question is, how do we enable the mind of Christ to, be, to become our mind? Simple, by refusing to entertain human beliefs, fears, worries, thoughts, and preconceived opinions, by turning to God, by allowing the responsibility for knowing the truth to rest not upon our shoulders, but upon God's. Have you been trying to get God's attention? Then, still your human mind and listen to these words. Before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. Pleading with God to solve a problem that is already solved is about as sensible as begging the ocean to float a ship. What is needed is intelligent cooperation with the principle of life. God is causative power which forever produces according to law. To have the mind of Christ 
is to have the mind of God in action. How simple can it get? Why complicate simple matters? As Emerson said, get your bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circuit. Thanks for listening. Bye.